Welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Friday, 9th June 2017. I'm Fredicia Liburd. The annual Child Month Parade took place earlier today, Friday, where students of the various early childhood centers paraded through the streets of Charlestown. Various onlookers cheered on the students, teachers, and parents in the march, which was led by a disc jockey and a marching band, and culminated at the El Camino T. Willett Park. Premier of Nevis and Minister of Education, the Honorable Vance Amory, participated in this year's march and spoke briefly with us about the parade. We, we, we saw a very meaningful march of teachers, preschool teachers, preschoolers, parents, mothers, fathers. I think it was a wonderful demonstration of people taking interest in their children and taking interest in the, the, the development of the, the future of our country. I think, I don't know that we had a march as big as this ever. I think it's the biggest ever and it's a wonderful, wonderful display. A wonderful demonstration. And I, I want to congratulate the organizers, the early childhood directors and education officers, and all of the teachers and the parents for coming to support their children and to support the development of our nation. Junior Minister of Youth in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, marched with the Stepping Stone Daycare Center and spoke about the theme for that particular early childhood center. The school on a whole depicted um, the flower garden and all the different insects, flowers that would normally be around the flower garden. So you had some children who were the flowers and some persons who depicted butterflies, bees, you know, other insects that are intrinsically around the, 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 the whole garden scene. The next event on the calendar of activities for Child Month 2017 is Tiny Tots in Action at the Nevis Cultural Complex on Thursday, June 15th, 2017. A suspect taken into custody on suspicion of the shooting death of Lydia Jacobs has been arrested, formally charged and cautioned. Arrested and charged is Alston Phillips of Hamilton Estate, Nevis. He was arrested, formally charged and cautioned for the offence of murder, which was committed on the evening of Friday, June 2nd. He has also been charged with two counts of attempted murder. Head of the Crime Directorate, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Andre Mitchell, said, I want to commend the team at the Violent Crimes Unit and the Forensic Services Unit for their work on this case so far. I also want to thank all who provided information as related to this case and thank you for coming forward with the information that proved valuable to moving this case forward. ACP Mitchell added, this type of police and community engagement re yields results. People came forward and we were able to make an arrest. The general public can share information with the police by calling any police station Crime Stoppers at 1-800-8477 or by using the SKN Crime Reporter app on your smartphone. The Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, NHCS, is celebrating International Archives Day under the theme Archives, Citizenship and Interculturalism. Here is more in this report. Friday, June 9th was observed as International Archives Day under the theme Archives, Citizenship and Interculturalism. To this end, the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society mounted an exhibit at the Museum of Nevis History at Bellevue. Ms. Gail Doar, Acting Curator of Archives and Collections, explained what was on display. We have invited a few collectors to share their collection with us. We have also, from the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, display some archival items. Visitors to the museum had the opportunity not only to see the displays, but were able to browse the exhibit, listening to the sounds of local string band music. We just want to make the general public aware of the importance of archives. Archives hold the memory 
of the past. It is the evidence of man and his environment. So we are inviting others to please come along and see what we have on display. We'd like to thank Crispin and Jackson for sharing his collection with us. We'd also like to thank Renita Bazdio Rajup and Miss Pam Barry. The exhibit has been extended until Monday and persons who may have missed it still has an opportunity to view this exhibit at the Museum of Nevis History. Still to come, Department of Education encourages parents to register children in respective zones. The details when you return. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. The following is an announcement from the Ministry of Education in Nevis regarding the zoning policy. All parents and guardians who are registering children to enter government-operated schools for the upcoming school year are kindly asked to register their child or children in the school that is closest to their place of residence. Schools would not be accepting registration of children that are outside of their zones and where it could be determined that there is another government-operated school closer to the parent or guardian's place of residence. Please note that zoning is based on place of residence, not place of work, not on personal preference, not on place of residence of grandparent, uncle, aunt, non-custodial parent, or other relative. Please be guided accordingly and seek to register your child or children in the appropriate school. The Honorable Alexis Jeffers during the last edition of Government at Work gave listeners an update on what has been happening at the Nevis Electricity Company, Nevlek. Residents have complained about the unusual frequent outages being experienced by customers which are due to a variety of reasons, mainly due to an aging generation plant and engines. Uh, based on the release that was given sometime last week, there were some issues with a radiator. Mm. Uh, there is one of those Merle's engine have an issue with a, a crank sh crankshaft that has to be replaced. Now that will have to bring um, experts or persons qualified to replace this crankshaft. We'll have to bring them onto the island. Uh, with the difficulties and the issues and the mechanical issues that are there, um, it would take um, some time before we get to that point so it's difficult to just um, bring a generator online because one is down for some reason and they're working almost 24 hours to ensure that these um, issues are dealt with. Jeffers further thanked the staff for their continued hard work and diligence in ensuring that for the most part electricity remains on for most people but he is not shirking his responsibility as minister responsible for electricity. But in putting the blame squarely at our feet, we also have to understand where we are coming from and where we're going and what we are doing to alleviate the situation. And I am sympathetic to the cause of the people of Nevis. Yes, some persons have had um, issues with appliances. Some persons have grown accustomed to watch their favorite shows, for example, at a given time. And indeed, there have been inconvenience at this time. But we are working towards rectifying this um, uh, difficult situation that we find ourselves in. And I know we'll get there. Minister Jeffers highlighted the fact that the power company has bought a new generator that will be installed shortly. As we speak, there is civil works being done at Nevlek in terms of um, putting in place the padding for the uh, fuel tanks and also the radiator and the uh, exhaust system and so forth. That is being done currently at Nevlek. Uh, if I were to give you a timeline, we expect the uh, brand new Watsila generator to arrive on Nevis around the 18th, between the 16th to the 18th of uh, of, of June. While the work for the installation of a new generator takes place, the company has taken a decision to upgrade the safety and security for the workers at the plant, including increased ventilation, 
safety rails around engines, and firefighting and escape facilities. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Libert. Thank you for viewing. Close your eyes. Imagine a green, majestic mountain forever shaded by a snow-white cloud. And listen to the sound of waves gently lapping at your feet, kissed by the winds of the Caribbean Sea. Breathe in the abundant fresh air of this glorious land. And welcome to my wonderful paradise, my island, Nevis. Hi, I am 21-year-old Claytisia Daniel, and I will be representing the island of Nevis in this year's Miss Caribbean Culture Queen pageant. Known as Uwali, land of beautiful waters by its native inhabitants, and later nicknamed Queen of the Caribbees by British settlers for its wealth-creating powers. Nevis has long relied on its natural prowess and resources to create livelihoods for its people, be it the plantation owners from days of old who drew wealth from the very ground, the fishermen who reap their bounty from the lovely blue Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean Sea, those who would bottle the island's natural fresh spring waters, those who promote the healing powers of the volcanic hot springs, or the mines who would harness and channel the island's geothermal energy. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island that spans 36 miles across the Caribbean Sea, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. It is imperative that we care for our surroundings and adopt environmentally friendly practices to safeguard the beauty of our priceless assets and the future of our developing country. Join me along with the other beautiful contestants on August 5th and 7th in my beautiful paradise, Nevis, as we vie for the crown in this year's Miss Caribbean Culture Queen pageant. See you there.